Turning now to the Target 12 investigators with news about an upcoming race for a top local law enforcement job. We're joined live at 4 by 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi, who first broke the story on WPRI.com. Ted, it's, this is one of those positions that it's an elected position in Massachusetts, not the case in Rhode Island. So we're talking about Bristol County. Yeah, so the Bristol County Sheriff's Office in Bristol County, they oversee the inmates who are either serving a sentence or awaiting federal trial, excuse me, a uh, local trial. And it runs the jails in Dartmouth and New Bedford. Current Bristol County Sheriff is Tom Thomas Hodgson, a familiar face around here, partly because of his longevity. Hodgson has held this job since 1997 when he was appointed by then Governor Bill Weld, and he's won re-election repeatedly since there. He's also become one of the most prominent Republicans in Massachusetts, including as a staunch supporter of former President Donald Trump. But Hodgson's current six-year term is up next year, so he's facing re-election. And Ted, the news you broke last week, unlike in 2016 when the sheriff was unopposed for your election, already has a challenger for next year is what we're looking at. That's right. Many Democrats disagree with Hodgson's stances on immigration and prison management. And now one of them has stepped forward to challenge him. He is Nick Bernier. He's 36 years old. He's a Fall River Democrat. And he's a lawyer who formerly served as a county prosecutor in Bristol County. Bernier is holding a campaign, campaign fundraiser this week and tells me he respects Hodgson, but he thinks it's time for a change after 24 years. I also spoke with Sheriff Hodgson last week. He tells me he definitely plans to seek re-election, but he also thinks competition is good because it gives the voters choices. We shall keep an eye on that one. And Ted, looking ahead now, uh, Target 12 has a new investigation coming up tonight about gun violence in Providence, something we've been reporting about extensively. And there's some data showing that shootings and homicides have now been on the rise for more than a year. Yeah, that's right. Our colleague Steph Machado took a look at the shootings that occurred in the city this year, including mapping out where they happened and exploring why the numbers are going up. Providence was actually having success bringing those numbers down before the pandemic, but now they're grappling with this spike in violence. Steph sat down with Providence, P Providence's police chief to talk about what his department is doing, and she'll have that interview coming up at 5. A topic on a lot of people's mm -hmm. minds around Providence right now. Looking forward to that coming up. Thanks so much. Good to be here.